Leprechaun 2. We're continuing on with the Leprechaun series. So, yeah, Leprechaun 2 is released by Trimark Pictures, August 8, 1994. Um, it stars Warwick Davis as the Leprechaun again. Uh, it was written by Turi Mayer and Al Septine. Uh, produced by Mark Ammon and directed by uh, Rodman Finder. He's also done other like horror comedy type deal type films like Idle Hands, Eat Brains Love, uh, The Unborn, Dracula Rising. Yeah, he has like an all right repertoire of films. <laughs> um, yeah, this had a budget of two million dollars, quite the big spike in budget um, from the first one. But uh, upon its initial release at the little box office returns and uh, home video, it made $2.3 million. So basically just broke even. It developed quite a cult following, though, as the years progressed. And then we eventually got, a couple years later, we got the third one and so on and so on. That, I'll cover that in the, later on in the future when I talk about those films. But for now, Leprechaun 2 is about... Um, the leprechaun gets summoned, well, first, it starts off where he gets denied a bride a thousand years ago. And, uh, yeah, so he's all mad about that, he's set in stone and stuff. And then, um, a homeless guy finds his gold, steals one coin, and then, um, it brings him back. And then he realizes he still hasn't, doesn't have his bride, so he sets out to find one. So, first he gets his gold back... Well, first he goes to get the bride, sorry. And, um, yeah, so he kidnaps a 20-year-old. And, uh, yeah, her and her boyfriend, uh, yeah, have to basically try to fight him off. So she's, like, held in his lair. And uh, the boyfriend enlists the help of his drunk, crazy uncle to come and help um, take care of the problem. And, um, you yeah, know, the leprechaun just goes on a murderous rampage with anyone who gets in the way or so he gets into the way of um getting the girl to be his bride so yeah for the most part it's a t your typical story your damsel in distress and the hero knight basically has to save him save the girl but done in a modern setting with a killer leprechaun um it's an amusing sequel it's better than most sequels um the acting depends on who you talk about, but uh, some are good, some are bad. Like the girl who plays the damsel in this dress is pretty bad. Basically, showed no emotion at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, but the guy who played Cody, the boyfriend, did a good job. The guy who played the junk uncle did a good job. Or Davis obviously did a good job. And uh, yeah, so that, that part was pleasing. Um, the kills were actually pretty inventive in this one. There is a lot of cool stuff. There's some cool, a lot of cool practical effects done in it, especially when the uncle wishes that he has a leprechaun's pot of gold and the leprechaun makes it grow inside his stomach. That was interesting. It's very grotesque and dark. Um, they definitely want way more of the dark route now that they know that they're going to make these R-rated sequels. So, yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff. A guy, he come in, the leprechaun plays a mental telekinesis check on a guy, thinking that he's going to, like feel up a girl in her breast, but it's actually a lawnmower, and he's like, cuts his face off and stuff. It was pretty interesting. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff. It's just, I wish that there was, like, a little more development in some of the characters, and that, um, it wasn't just a straightforward story. It was, like, they could have added, like, a little twist here and there or something like that to throw you off a bit, and maybe even make a little more carnage for it, but, um, for what they had and what they were able to accomplish it is pretty good they do have like a lot there is like 20 to 25 minutes of just straight nothing at one point in the film where it's just uh it's supposed to be character build up but it's just more annoyance and a little bit boring so um yeah there's that negative part too as well so um overall though it was enjoyable uh it's not as good as the first one, obviously, but it's still a s decent sequel, I thought. And I definitely would um, 
probably recommend this one to people if they've seen the second the first one to watch the second one i think this one is actually pretty enjoyable as well um but this one is the one where they start planting the seeds for the ridiculousness that starts in three and goes on to the other one so this is the last of like the very dark leprechaun stories <laughs> and uh yeah, and then the future ones go into more absurdity. But for Leprechaun 2, I'm going to give this one 3.5 out of 5 because uh, I still enjoyed it. It's still dark. The makeup and practical effects are still superb. And it was definitely an interesting watch. And it's pretty fun. Some of the one-liners also don't really hit. But that's what happens when films age, I find. So I'm, that's not a big negative for me. Um, yeah, the trailer is linked down below if you want to check it out, if you never heard of it, or you forgot about it and you want to revisit it, or whatever. It's just linked down below. Also, my Instagram is linked down below, where I always post clips of films I'm going to review in the future on my story. So make sure you follow me there. I usually hide the title and a hashtag somewhere in the video clip, and the subgenre of films, and like subgenre of horror film, if it's a horror film, uh, as best I can on there as well, so I don't have people complaining, and so you it's something you're not interested in that you know, you are aware of it. But yeah, make sure you follow me on Instagram to stay in the loop. Also, like this video, share it so more people are aware of it. Uh, comment down below your opinions of this film if you've seen it. I'd love to hear about them. And um, make sure you subscribe because you never know what I'm going to talk about next because I might actually not go fully one through eight of the Leprechaun films. I'm, there's a couple films I'm thinking about doing in between, but I'm not sure yet. So yeah, stay Stay in the loop. Make sure you subscribe. Also, if you have any other films at all that you want to hear my opinions on, doesn't matter what genre it is, I'll watch anything. Comment them down below as well. Try my best to find them and uh, review them for you so you can hear my opinions on them. But till the next one, I guess, um, yeah, I guess I'll just see you in the next one. Hopefully, it's a good one. So, yeah, cheers.